Hey, this is Lance from LangChain. GPT 4.5 came out. It's worth calling out very briefly that this, again, is a chat model. It's not a reasoning model. So it falls within this first paradigm mentioned here, which is a scaling next token prediction, fast intuitive reasoning, and it's meant for chat or interactive use cases. Now, this differs from reasoning models, which are trained using a different paradigm, reinforcement learning on chain of thought. You can think of this more as system two thinking, and it often excels in tasks that are a bit longer running, like research planning, and in particular, STEM tasks that have verifiable results that can be post-trained using reinforcement learning. An interesting way to look at this model is that each increment is roughly a 10x of pre-training compute. And again, when we say pre-training, that means this next to prediction paradigm. Rapathi made this point, which is quite nice that you can look through the models and go to GPT-1, barely generous coherent text. GPT-2, kind of a confused toy. GPT-3 was interesting. Wasn't a product, but it was interesting. 3.5 was obviously the major chat GPT moment. Now with GPT-4, that's when things are kind of interesting. The step from 3 to 3.5 was a clear step that kind of shook the world. 3.5 to 4, it was hard to find slam dunk obvious cases where four was better. It seemed better in kind of a diffuse way. Vibes were better, fewer hallucinations, better at tool calling, better at structured output, potentially funnier, better world knowledge. And it's likely that four to 4.5 will be a similar transition where it's hard to pinpoint like very specific things it does better. But even in OpenAI's evaluations, they kind of talk about vibes. It's better at Q it's a better writer. Now, it's important to note that it's not a reasoning model, so it will not be better at tasks and verifiable domains like STEM tasks. And you see that from the results that they show. For example, if you compare three mini in GPQA or Sweebench to GPT-4.5, GPT-4.5 is much worse. And that's because for those particular problems, which have verifiable rewards or verifiable answers, coding, math, reasoning models are state of the art because of the explicit post-training process using reinforcement learning to improve on those particular tasks. But what's interesting is just from general pre-training scaling, we can see GPT-4.5 is notably better than 4.0 across a number of these challenges. So that's really the insight here that this won't exceed reasoning models in narrow domains like coding, STEM, but they get generally better due to scaling of pre-training and the system card talks about specifically developers may find 4.5 particularly useful in applications that benefit from higher EQ, creativity, like writing, help, communication, coaching. Now, here's the obvious catch. It's worth highlighting. If you look at the pricing, GPT-4.5 is $75 per million tokens. Compare that to $250 for 4.0 or $3 for 3.7 Sonnet. Again, output $150 compared to $10 or $15. So we're looking at greater than 10x price increase relative to other models to the new 3.7 Sonnet or 4.0. So it's much more expensive and indeed it's a much larger model. Now, because it's apparently better at writing, I went ahead and vibe tested it using Open Deep Research and it is a fully open source deep researcher. So you give it a topic, it generates a plan. This plan generation, you can use many different models, but I tend to like using the reasoning models for that stage. This lays out the overall scope of the report. And then you basically do research on each section of the report as scoped, and you can configure the writer model. So I want to test, let's try using GPT-4.5 as the writer, because apparently better writer than 4.0. This is my baseline report. And this one is generated using 3.7 Sonnet as a planner and 3.5 Sonnet as the writer. It's a report on three inference providers, Grok, Fireworks, and Together AI. And here's the overall report. So we get kind of an inference market overview with sourcing. We then get a deep dive on fireworks, deep dive on together, deep dive on Grok, and comparative analysis. Okay, so that's kind of the baseline report. And this is a report that I'm pretty happy with. Now we can look at what we get with 4.5. Let's just look at the conclusions to kind of compare them side by side. So here's the baseline conclusion. Talk about the AI inference markets rapidly growing. Gives us kind of a breakdown of the providers and their various market positions and valuations. Pricing calls out market expansion, calls out Grok's differentiated hardware. So superior performance metrics, as we know, Grok has their own chips. Talks about Together's kind of momentum and enterprise relationships, fireworks, strong optimization technologies, which seems to stem from this call out on fire retention. Let's see what GPT-4.5. So it looks like 4.5 does call out revenue estimates. 
overall aesthetics and flow of the report is quite similar. And that's in part because we do the planning up front, which is actually done in this case with O3 Mini. So you can think about the planning of the report structure is independent. The writing itself is what I would look at here. The writing is difficult to differentiate significantly relative to 3.5 Sonnet, but it does seem better than 4.0. I'd used 4.0 for a number of reports earlier on, and I moved to Sonnet because I do like Sonnet's writing style better. This seems to be more comparable with Sonnet, so I do think there's a qualitative improvement in writing quality relative to 4.0. But you should really investigate this for your own applications and kind of do your own vibe tests. I think the challenge for me is that the pricing jump relative to, in this case, 3.5 Sonnet, you can see that over here, 3.5 is even cheaper, $3 per million token for 3.7 versus 75 for 4.5. Uh, is obviously a significant jump, and I would really need to have high confidence that the application justifies that bump in price. So that's really the thing I would pay attention to most closely is that pricing jump. But it's an interesting model to test at small scale in certain applications to see if, in particular, its EQ or writing ability is notably better than what you're using previously. I think that's the thing I would look at most carefully. And I may test it in some other deep research report generation applications, which utilize a lot of writing. My initial tests don't see a major difference in writing quality and style relative to 3.5 Sonnet. So that's just my initial vibe, but it's absolutely worth having a careful look at. Feel free to leave any comments below. Thanks.